my name's Craig and today's lesson is how to roll correctly in your boxing stance. Okay, so first of all you're going to get into that boxing stance, okay? And you're going to get in that heel toe um, position. And first of all, we're just going to roll from the rear, from your rear hand, okay? So if you're orthodox, you're going to uh, roll off to your left. And if you're southpaw, you're going to roll off to your right. Okay, so I'm southpaw. So what you're going to do is you're going to, the breakdown of the roll is you're going to slightly lean out the way of a punch, uh, draw, draw a circle with your nose and stand back up again. And that is the easiest way I can think to coach it when you are actually rolling and bending at the knees. <clears throat> there, are, there are other ways to roll, but this for me seems the most efficient is you can keep your eye on the target in front rather than if you're bending at the waist, you, you're then looking at the cameras. So there are pros and cons to different ways of rolling, but this is the way I do. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lean, bend at the knees, the back heel will slightly come up and, and swivel or pivot and you'll stand back up. So you'll lean, roll under and stand back up. Lean and roll, okay? So with this, this means you can do your rear hand as many times as you want, non-stop. So you can deliver it and then roll and stand up. Deliver and roll, deliver and roll. And you can do that on a continuous loop, non-stop. And as you can see, the, the ball of my back foot is working as I'm, as I'm doing this roll and I'm standing back up and the heel goes back down again, back into its original boxing position so I can throw my punches from anywhere. So that is a necessity, that foot does slide back into its natural position because you could be uh, using your footwork to move off or anything after that roll. So I mean obviously you could counter punch, you could deliver your, your, your rear hand roll, um, uh, under there punch and then deliver that second rear hand. Okay, so moving on to your lead hook, or you can do it off the jab, you can roll off the jab, but it's mainly off, off the lead hook because the momentum of the punch actually, both of these punches, the momentum of the punch takes you that particular way. So if I send that hook out, I'm going to roll under and go the way of the punch, I'm going to draw that circle, so to speak, with my nose and then come back up. Um, what you're also doing is keeping your back nice and straight because you're then able to look at the opponent, <clears throat> you can see what you what you've got, it, what you're dealing with, what you can do next. So it's a, it, it, it's a good thing to do. So you're keeping on both rolls. You keep that back straight, okay? So that lead hook round again. Your balls, your feet are coming into play. You'll feel them moving under you. Whatever makes it, you know, feel comfortable for you. They will move. It's just depending how low you're going. It might only be a little one. They might not move so much. But there's a little bit of movement going under, <coughs> going on with the balls of the feet. Okay, so <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that onto the bag and just um, show you how it works on the bag.